Intriguing. Actually, do I get to see how your makeup looks? No, it's not on camera. Oh. It's patchy. Oh. So it is. is my makeup patchy? No, you're fine. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Tom is here. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Tom is here to help me do the first sentence challenge, which is essentially, he's gonna pick a book off of my shelves, which are here, and read me the first sentence. I'm gonna be blindfolded and I've gotta try and guess what the book is. I've never done a tag or challenge or anything like that before, so we'll see how it goes. How do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> What are we doing again? You're reading a first sentence of any book to me and I'm guessing what the book is. You've read it, actually. Yeah. I've read it. Well, yeah. If you pick it from... You mean the first sentence of, like, any chapter or the... the no, book? the first sentence of the book. That's cheating. Why? It should be, like, any page, anywhere. <laughs> That's all the challenge is. But there's a lot of books on here that I read when I was, like... There are other books I read when I was this year or last year. Or that there are books I read when I was, like, 13, 14. So if you've seen me read you're the book... You're good at remembering lyrics of songs. I am, but I, I think I, think I forget well. books. I think I, I read it and then well. forget it. Well, you do read a lot. So. It depends whether you're nice to me or not, and whether you pick books that you've seen me read. Or if you haven't seen me read the book, chances are I read it when I was like 14. I don't know if this is so, the best choice yeah, it's you know. a great choice. It'll fall apart, won't it? No, it won't. No, stay there. It's pink as well, so it suits the background. That's my main aim with this blindfold. <laughs> And you're not allowed to un, un if you unmask yourself, I'm gonna be very, very angry. <laughs> okay? You stay like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna make sure we have a fun time. <laughs> it's gonna be good, and we're all gonna have fun! I'm picking all my favourites. I'm so nervous. I don't think I'm gonna be any good at this. Have you shown them the book? I've shown them the book and they they thoroughly enjoyed that. They thought, <laughs> wow, what a great choice that is. Okay, are you ready? Oh man. Okay. One dot meat. Meat. Oh, Heartstopper. How did you get that? It's one word. <laughs> well, I just read it. Oh, that's true, I? yeah. I, like... I, I like this one because if you didn't know, like, we went to a school where they got these colour blazers and it's set in the same sort it's of school. Set in a boys' grammar school we went like to. We went to, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it just seemed like. Yeah. It's a good book. Five stars. Okay, look at that. It's so focused, baby. You need to come back I more. Can focus it. Can focus it. Look at that. I'm smart. But then it's not going to be focused on yeah, us. You've got to focus us. Again. There we go. Easy. I'm cameraman. Okay, baby. It's my job. I'm so this proud of myself. This is actually quite fun. It is fun, isn't it? You didn't think it would be fun, but it is. This is something that I'm aware of. Okay. I know what this is. <laughs> I know the memes. Memes? Don't give me clues. <sighs> this is a bloody long one. <laughs> Jesus. Late in the winter of my 17th year, my mother decided I was depressed, presumably because I rarely left the house, spent quite a lot of time in bed, Is that it? Read the same book over and over, sound like anyone? Oh! Ate infre- Dutch wait! Okay. Ate infrequently, and devoted quite a bit of my abundant free time to thinking about death. Is it the secret history? No. <gasps> what? No, not the secret history at all. Oh no! <laughs> I was going to pick that one. Like well, that, is, that is quite embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give some clues. Yeah, I'm going to give some clues to help oh, you no, on the way. Oh no, that's so embarrassing. I'm going to give you some clues to help you on the way. Okay. It's a famous book. I've heard of it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. okay. What do you mean, okay? Well, I know roughly what it is, but carry on. What do you mean, how can you know roughly what it well, is? Well, I think it's a book I read a long time ago. I would have thought so. Death is prominent within it. Yeah, um, I think I know what it is. Now have a guess then. Is it Catcher in the Rye? Mm. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn I think I've got some good clues here that I think your, your viewers at home appreciate this. There is a film about it. With B Tech Katniss Everdeen. Third clue, the author is also a YouTuber. Makes great history content. Oh, so it's a John Green one? Yeah. Death is prominent. B Tech Katniss Everdeen film. The Thought in Our Stars? Yeah, mate. Okay. I can't believe I thought The Thought in Our Stars was a secret history. They're kind of a. Uh, yeah, That's so embarrassing because she's like my favourite book and I and got where it. Where does wrong. this rank? Not very high. 
It was alright. It was a really popular book. It's a number it one is, bestseller. It was a popular book a long time ago. I stop what you're looking for. You haven't looked. You haven't picked out any more books, have you? No, I haven't picked out any more books. I'm allowed to look when I'm right. Oh, Otherwise, I'm just blindfolded the whole time. Okay. Okay, viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm picking Liz. God, I'm nervous. Now this is one of my favourite, favourite things. I really enjoyed this when I was a kid. This is also, if you, for those who know, shout out to those who know, an iconic introduction. When shall we three meet again, in thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly burly's done, when the battle's lost and won? Oh, I'm sorry, but it ain't on. No, it's not on. No, no. You asked me this, I would know straight away. You ask any English student out there, they'd know. Iconic. Maybe I haven't picked the... Uh, you're being really mean! How is this ring? This is one of the most famous introductions to, to any book or play ever. Play. Oh. Is it, I'm trying to think what plays I have on my... It's, uh, it's going to be when I did a GCSE, you know? It's going to be like... Oh, God. Okay, well, stop thinking about that. Stop thinking about it's the it's... one. Is, is it the one where the, um, the, they're in the room the whole time? J, is it J.B. Priestley? No, why would that be J.B. Priestley? How on earth is that? I don't know. Think about the language being used. Well, in... yeah, I... Okay, right. Shakespeare? Gonna... Well, yeah, it is Shakespeare. Right, I'm going to give you some clues. I have Shakespeare on my shelf. You have Shakespeare on your shelf. Um, <gasps> it's set in Scotland. Oh, Macbeth. Macbeth. Okay, well, that's... You should be more embarrassed about not knowing this than I didn't the study Macbeth. I don't think. Well, this is an iconic. I studied Macbeth in like year that, nine. You should know that irregardless. So that's like seven years ago. I said be nice to me and pick books you think I've Macbeth read recently. Is world famous. A great piece of art. <laughs> you should be embarrassed about that. I like this. I think this was a cool. I think it was a good video. Oh, now you give me clues. I'm going to give you clues. You're not doing very well, are you? <sighs> Dear me. The door opens quickly, just as my earring falls out and breaks. Steph catches it and puts it in her pocket, seamlessly, and stares confidently at the man leaning and swaying on the frame. We're here for the party. This is for more right than the first house? sentence, right? Yeah, but I was going to read the first paragraph, because the first sentence is like, All right. vague as hell. But that's supposed to be the challenge. Well, we're going rogue, because making things so bad. <laughs> Okay, carry on. Really she okay. says this with a vague We're here tone. for the party. What did you say? We're, we're, here. we're here for the party. Right, house? She says this with a vague tone of annoyance because it's bastard freezing outside. Who would write that? Neither of us have tights on and he's just stood there gawping, assessing, working out if we'll get off with one of us by the dregs of the evening. Oh, okay. That isn't the first sentence. Is You've picked not? a random page. But that's Charlie Cox, right? It is Charlie Cox, yeah. Yeah, you just picked it. Look. Look, you've missed all that. No, that's a four word and that's the introduction. Yeah, introduction would have been the first. That's the first one. Yeah, but in some books, the introduction is just them saying, wow, this was such a great book. No, that's her Look. first poem. That's fine. Well, I got it. Well, you got it, but sorry, guys, that I did a bad job. With that. <laughs> okay, I'm picking this one. Because... Yeah, she very really enjoyed this one. Did I? I believe so. Okay. This is an iconic opening line, Megan. Ready? Mm. There's a pirate in the basement. Oh, saw the sea. Bro, that's good. Yay! Well done. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you had no hope. There's a pirate in the basement. Yeah. Well, what else have I read that has a pirate in it? Okay. Next choice. Another one. Another iconic read. By the time Alex managed to get the blood out of her good wool coat, it was too warm to wear it. I know. Classic first world problem, that. Ninth house. Ninth house? Ninth house. Yay! I'm doing well again. <sighs> See, when you start again. picking books I read this well, year, that I mean 2019, I <laughs> actually could. I think I've just been a bit easy on you, but we're going to go back to... Go back to hard. Okay, yeah. I think the Star of the Sea and the Ninth House are quite easy. I think they're very easy. 
Okay, go back to the more hard. Well, close your eyes then. Go on, no cheating. <laughs> Legendary content. I'm gonna find a good page. You gotta find the first sentence. No, I'm going rogue. Because certain books don't even have a first sentence. Okay, rather than guess the the book by the first sentence, you're going to guess what I'm talking about. May's first partner Pokemon, blank, was friendly, but ended up getting into tr itself into trouble with the other Pokemon often. Tom. As it evolved from <laughs> blank into blank and from blank into blank. It sheds some of its temper, but remains a tough, experienced fighter. <laughs> We're talking about Pokemon here. I haven't read Guess. this, you know. <laughs> this is yours! <laughs> Guess. This is yours! Guess the Pokemon, mate. But yeah, I'm gonna find different I ones. didn't even listen. <laughs> you didn't even listen. Well, wow, that's just disrespectful. Another classic. A bit more close to home for some of the Yanks. <laughs> a few m miles south of Soledad. The Salinas River drops in close to the hillside bank and runs deep and green. Tom. Come on, this is a legendary book. Legendary Of Mice and Men? Of Mice and Men, yeah! Timeless classic here. Left Munich at 8.35pm on the 1st of May, arriving at Vienna early next morning. Should have arrived at 6.46, but train was an hour late. That's it, innit? Uh, I have no clue. Can, okay. I, can I have a clue? Mm, you have a clue. <laughs> I'm gonna, the clue is, I'm going to read the sentence at the bottom of the page. Okay. In the population of Transylvania... Oh, fought. Dracula. 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 They're picking all the books I studied. Okay, well, I'm going to find one that you actually read. <laughs> I'm just thinking that maybe we need the tone of page... Chat. What? Oh. Words. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? She's just talking shit! Can you come into my office? I look around at the desks beside me. And then back at Frankie, trying to confirm to whom exactly she is talking. <laughs> do you want a clue? Yeah. We're going to do a slightly different clue this time. Put out your hand. No, the other way around. How does it feel to that front cover? What does that feel like? Oh, um, is it The Seven Husbands of Evan Hugo? Yeah! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I thought it has a real distinct texture. It has a distinct feel Why to it. Why does it feel like that? I, don't, I got it in America, so I think that it's printed slightly differently. But yeah, I don't know why it's like that. It's fascinating. And why did you not get it from the opening line? I just, like, Frankie isn't an important... That threw me off. Frankie, oh, like, you Frankie. leave her. Oh, rip Frankie. You should have read... That's not the first sentence! It is that's right. the first sentence! But th that doesn't look like a first sentence, like that looks weird bro. I would have got it as okay. well if it said Evelyn Hugo. So. Yeah, well, audience at home. You get a look at that. Oh, we've got to remember, I don't read, so... Yeah, <laughs> this looks like some sort of like, something you do on Microsoft Publish. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's laid out differently, it's all like an insert, and then you've got... And then the first chapter. A classic, a first chapter, classic font. Then it's not making things so I'll confusing. I'll put a poll. What a beauty. I spent much of my childhood listening to the sound of striving. Of striving? Striving. Tom. Would you like me to read the next sentence? Yeah, give me one more. It came in the form of bad music, or at least amateur music, coming up through the floorboards of my bedroom. The plink, plink, plink of students sitting downstairs. Okay, it is what I think it is. It's what I thought it was from the first sentence, but oh, I wasn't I, sure. Did but I do something wrong? No, 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 this is confirmed it. Is it Becoming by Michelle Obama? It is. Yeah! And uh, I've always liked this front cover, I always thought it looks good on the shelf. In a townhouse at a fashionable address on Manhattan's Upper East Side, every lamp blazes. Townhouse, a fashionable address on Manhattan, every light blazes. Is it The Diviners? It is! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> do I want to, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh my god. You can either be kind or you can be mean. I just think it's just beautiful. I like it. Always liked it. Always liked it. Always liked it. Always liked it. You ready? Yeah. The prince is holding a ball. The prince and the dressmaker. Okay, that was easy. That, that was, was so easy. Cool. Why was that easy? I know. Hey, again, I've just read it. Have you? 
Yeah, I read it for the graphic novel video that I read. Oh, okay. But you bought nice. that for me. Yeah, I, I like this book. It's cool. Bought in in my London video. I thought, you know, with a prince and stuff, it seems like every book you got has got a prince in it. I don't think it, many so books I read have a prince. That one's got... Okay, yeah, Red, Brown, Royal Blue has prints in it. People might be wondering, that's an odd choice. Why go for that one? Oh. You're trying to throw me off. It is with abiding humility that I accept the position of High Blade of Mid-Mercia. Or mid America. Yeah, mid America. Okay. So you know. You I know, know the series. You know the series. I don't know which, which, which one. one. Does it mean like Middle America? Or America? Yeah, Middle America. It's a bit of rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like a phrase, isn't it? Like just call it Ohio. You know what I mean? What do you call it? Mid America. It's, it's like big uh, districts, almost like big, big districts. Okay, I think it's I think it's either the first or the last in the series. I don't think it's the middle one. <laughs> Am well, I wrong? Well, you know, you got you got to make the choice, haven't you? I I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the toll. Oh my god! Well done, Megan. I went for the worst one. I Yay! thought you wouldn't Yay! remember if it was bad because I remember this being a disappointment. Wasn't yeah, it, it was a disappointment. Why was it a disappointment? It was a disappointment. But I gave why it... though? Oh, um, I just thought it. I thought I just thought it but didn't. <laughs> I thought it. <laughs> The I villain was myself. bad, wasn't the, the villain, villain was bad? The villain was like boring, and I think that he it's just a... tried to do so much. There were so many characters by the time we got to the last one, and he just tried to do too much, in my opinion. And the front cover school. Yeah. I think it either needed to. I think maybe it should have been a four book series because I just feel like stuff was kind of glossed over. What was your favourite one of all the ones I picked? I'm Which quite is... proud of myself for getting Heartstopper because it was just one meat, I guess. Yeah, that um, was impressive. Uh, I liked. Yeah, I don't know. Becoming? Becoming was quite a good choice, I think. That was a good choice. Um, I'm shocked you didn't get Macbeth, though. Mate. Because I that is the most famous line I in studied all it in year nine. Yeah, but I was ir 14. Irregardless, like, you know, I think if you just go downstairs and read that to your mum and your dad, they'd know. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too much of a mess. And um, let me know down below if either you've done something like this or how you think you would have done, I guess. I think most people at home would have done a lot better. <laughs> you gave me all the books I studied when I was 14. Okay, well, what we've got to understand is that I don't read books, yeah? So when you walk in and see a shelf like this, yeah. when you see stuff like Macbeth, Dracula, you think, oh, they're, they're But when have books. you seen me read them? Well, it's, well you, you think that they're, so, they're such cultural experiences that you'd be unforgettable. That's the impression that I have as a non-reader. Okay. I hope you enjoyed Tom picking the video. Thank you. I hope you, you. Don't, you don't ask me to come back. Thanks. <laughs> I was no, going to say, nice let me know if you want him to come yeah, back. Yeah, I'd rather not. I just, I'm not very comfortable being on camera if you don't tell. But yeah. <laughs> not, everyone, not everyone's a BBC presenter. <laughs> what, you don't, you don't do the booktube boyfriend tag? No. <laughs> Does that um, get a lot of views? Uh, yeah, I think so. Does it? Is that what you care about? Uh, no, it just, it's, it's weighing it up, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, we've got to take a thumbnail now. Oh, do I don't have to be in it. <laughs> because it's going to be ridiculous, yeah, doing a thumbnail. This can be like a little X up after the title screen for those who stay behind and watch it. <laughs> right? Yeah? It can be ridiculous when you pull your faces and there's no need to stand up. Uh, it's going to daft, isn't it? Well, I think I should put the... I think we should have you putting like, the blindfold the, on me. I think filming the process of making the thumbnail is equally as insane as the video itself. We can't can, film and make it, though. Yeah, we can, but we can just do a little bit behind the scenes here. <laughs> How is it you You have truly ruined this. I mean, we're going to show this to everyone. Look at my beautiful jumper. Oh. It's not real, everyone. <laughs> Look at that. This is my favourite jumper. <laughs> Intriguing. Actually, do I get to see how your makeup looks? No, it's not on camera. Well, it's patchy. Uh, so it is. is my makeup patchy? No, you're fine. <laughs>